Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I just booted up the game and this world first milestone was there and I'm really confused. I don't think we've actually entered orbit of the sun. Did one of our satellites have a gravitational influence that flung it out of the system? No, none of these are orbiting the sun. Maybe debris is? An escape trajectory out of the sun. Okay. Yeah, it's some of the debris that's actually getting us that. <laughs> that makes more sense. Okay, so let's check what contracts we have available real quick. Surface outpost on the moon. Eh. Specific orbit of the moon. What orbit are these two? Let's take a quick look. And we want to be going to the moon. We only need to be on first hop. Or I guess just none for Comnet. These are very similar orbits. I feel like we only need to do one. We can maybe do both with a single satellite. If we're going to do that, I'd rather have the closer do the closer one first. Like they're very similar inclinations, right? So we might be able to do them both with one satellite. And then after that, maybe even have enough Delta V to get it kind of properly polar? We can try. So let's just go ahead and grab both of these. Uh, this requires a materials bay. And this requires an, a materials bay and an accelerometer. Okay. So that's not incompatible. So let's just go ahead and open up the Raven... Zero S. And we need to put an accelerometer onto this thing. Which is, of course, this guy. The question is, do we do that instead of the thermometer or in addition to the thermometer? I think we do it in addition to the thermometer. Okay, so we've got, in theory, plenty of DV to make this happen, right? I would think so. These are Reliance here. These, this is a Swivel. We have no maneuvering stage, but that's okay. We have a, T, a T200 of fuel for the actual spacecraft itself. Yeah, I think this is enough to make both of those, plus maybe the inclination change happen. I mean, if we can't get it to fully polar, that's fine. I don't actually care that much. And we haven't really done seismic scans, I suppose. We're gonna run out of power. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm gonna revert this back to launch. Because we have no power source on here other than solar panels. Where are our solar panels on this thing anyway? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Yeah, this this is fine. <laughs> we can grab these. That This is a repeatable experiment. We can grab this later on. Okay. So, I think we are pretty much ready to go. Let me double-check staging. That all looks good. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's the one kilometer mark. So let's just slowly start pitching downrange. It's always a little harder to control when our side boosters are attached. But that's okay. We'll be burnt off pretty soon. It always moves so much and then doesn't want to move again for a while. Okay, we'll just sit here. This will be fine. Our apoapsis is 23 kilometers. We're just burning prograde pretty much from here on out, honestly. No, not retrograde, prograde. There you go. 
Okay, off go our side boosters. We're still way too low to ditch our fairing, and we're moving pretty quickly, honestly. We have almost enough vertical speed. I'm going to go ahead and just head directly to the horizon at this point. We don't need to increase our apoapsis too much. What we really need right now is horizontal speed. And I'll cut engines in just a moment. We're going to aim for 80 kilometers at our apoapsis. There we go. And we will just go ahead and add in a prograde burn right at the apoapsis, and that'll be more than enough. I mean, I'm mostly just using that for timing. At this point, we can ditch our fairing. The fairing is no longer necessary, and our burn time is 43 seconds, so we want to burn at T minus 21 and a half seconds. Of course, we are not yet out of the atmosphere. Still got some traveling to do on that front. So we're just trying to get to the maneuver node here. We've overshot slightly. The atmosphere is not helping with that. It's trying to push the nose downward. So we're fighting that with what little reaction wheel we have. RCS is more efficient, but a reaction wheel will do. We're going to be out of the atmosphere now. So I can lock physics. And no more aerodynamic forces. Okay, so T minus... The timing has shifted. Uh, 15... T minus 17 seconds is when we want to burn this. And the reason the timing shifted, I think, is because of the fairing deployment. Okay, let's burn. We're getting ourselves into orbit. And it shouldn't be too much longer on this burn to be fully in orbit. And in reality, we should probably just park prograde. It's not really a reason not to, I think. Okay, we are raising our periapsis now, and we are officially in orbit. This is good enough. Okay, so next we're going off to the moon. So right about here, perhaps? Maybe a little further. Inclination issues, or... Okay, there we go. Just underestimated how far the moon would travel. Okay, we still need to move this a little closer. Ooh. That was pretty good. Yeah, I like this. This is good as is. Perfect. So let's go ahead and orient for that. I will physics warp this orient. As we slowly make our way over. This burn is going to be in a couple of minutes, but... I'm slightly concerned about the electric charge on the way, so I'm going to go ahead and enter hibernation. Whoa. Oh, we're drifting to prograde. There we go. Let's, uh, you know, not drift to prograde. We're going to have to come back out of hibernation to reorient. Okay, this is good enough. We want to burn at T minus 14 seconds. This is just going to be a prograde burn. But I just wanted to be approximately in the correct direction. So we'll go ahead and warp forward to about T minus 30 seconds. About right here. We'll come out of hibernation. We now have access to sunlight, so we don't have any power, power constraints at this juncture. And we'll burn in about a couple seconds. Now. Okay, let's see how this ends up playing out in terms of our final periapsis. 
This is the orientation that I currently care about. Excellent. Good enough. Okay, at this periapsis, we will then simply encircle this, and it looks like we're going the correct direction for both of these orbits, so that's ideal. We'll just encircle kind of like that. And off we go. Goodbye, Kerbin. Never gonna see you again. Well, with this particular spacecraft anyway. So we've still got about 2,500 meters per second, and that's over Kerbin. Our thrust to weight is much higher over the moon. Yeah, we've got plenty of DV in theory. So this is going to be a retrograde burn. And we'll just go ahead and warp to that maneuver. And let's get headed on over to retrograde. This is a seven second burn. So we want to burn this at T minus three and a half seconds. Okay, we are now oriented, and we're going to burn right about now. Perfect. That'll do. Okay, so we're going to aim for this lower orbit first, and to that end, I just want to get the camera positioned here for our inclination change. A little more up. Ooh. Very close. There. Perfect. So right here, we want to add a maneuver, and we just want to match planes. There we go. That'll do. And then we'll change our apoapsis and periapsis as necessary. So that's in 21 minutes and 53 seconds. I will go ahead and physics warp as we orient. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and warp to next maneuver, which is going to be somewhere over here. There we go. Just wanted to double check. Okay. We do meet the requirements. This is a four second burn. This is not going to burn out all of our center core either. So we're going to want to burn this at T minus four seconds. So we'll go ahead and warp forward a little bit towards that. Or T minus two seconds, rather. Okay. Let's see if we can't finish this off a little bit. How's that looking? Perfect. And we're 10 degrees off of our inclination for this one, but that's not going to be too bad. Okay, that is pretty ideal. Now, we need to take our... Let's see, we are currently going to the apoapsis. We need to adjust our periapsis to be somewhere around... It's a bit of a yikes. Somewhere around here-ish. I'd like to do a little bit of a more complicated burn, of course, to get this a little bit more correct. And then we would need to push it this way. Yeah. That's looking great. 
Okay, so that's the burn that we're going to go for, for getting our periapsis correctly positioned, which of course will become our apoapsis. And then at the periapsis, we'll just do a simple retrograde burn. So let's just go ahead and start up the physics warp and get oriented. Close enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and warp to that next maneuver. This is going to be a half second burn. So I'm just going to have to uh, be very cautious with this burn. Because this is a very, very minute burn. We basically want to burn at T minus two seconds, but I'm not going to throttle all the way up. Four three, two. Okay. That's close enough. At the periapsis, we will go ahead and do a retrograde burn. And that will fulfill the contract. We'll go ahead and warp to that. We will set to retrograde. This is going to burn out the remainder of this core. So that's fine. We've still got another 2,000 meters per second left. After this burn, we'll be just below 2,000. So we've got plenty to make everything that I have planned for this happen, I think. This is a two-second burn, so we're going to want to burn at T minus one second. I'm just physics warping our turn here. Perfect. Okay, so at T minus one second is when we want to burn. Okay. Gotta stage this. And just a very small burn here. Okay, that's good enough for the contract. Hold stability for 10 seconds, and we should get credit. There it is. Excellent. Now we're going to do this one as well with this same exact launch. So I'm just wondering how, in fact, we're going to go about matching this inclination. <laughs> Probably right at the ascending node here, we're going to attempt to change this a little. Yeah, I mean, that does the trick. Yeah, that'll do it. Now then, how long until we get there? That's not bad. So, let's just go ahead and get oriented before I warp to that maneuver. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad spacecraft. Don't want to be going retrograde. So let's just go ahead and get oriented. There we go. And we will warp to next maneuver. This is a two second burn, so we want to burn this at T minus one second. Let's get pointed the correct direction. Hello, moon. This is close enough for now, I guess. Okay, and then we will do something like this. How's that for inclination? Close enough. Okay, so now we just need to adjust our apoapsis and periapsis. So right around here is when we want to push this out, except, no, not like that. I wanted to move it, not add additional. Okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, it doesn't want to get rid of that. Okay, we'll do it that way. <laughs> Fantastic. 
Right around here at our apoapsis, let's go ahead and uh, push out our periapsis to be about the right distance. 444 is where we need to get it. So about there will do, but I also want to just adjust this slightly. About like... Ooh, that's very sensitive. Okay, I'll use the mouse wheel. Not like that. But I want to push this out a little further. Yes. Perfect. That is perfection. Right there. So we'll go ahead and orient to that. Okay, and now we will go ahead and warp to that maneuver. And we've got plenty of Delta V left to make this a proper polar orbit after we fulfill these two contracts. So that's ideal. This is only a one second burn. We're going to have to be very cautious with it. I'm probably going to burn it at T minus three seconds. But I'm not going to throttle all the way up. So let's just bring this right on down little further. There. Good enough. Okay, and then we can just push out our periapsis, or rather, pull back our periapsis a little bit. That'll be close enough. 13 meters per second. Warp to that maneuver. This is just a pure retrograde burn. This is a half second burn. I'm not actually going to attempt to time it so much because it's such a minor amount that we need. Once again, at about three seconds is when I'll burn this. And then as soon as I see that disappear, that's when I'm gonna cut it. The contract orbit, I mean. Okay. Well, I'll go a little further. There we go. Okay. Now we maintain stability. And we should have our second contract come in. There we go. Bam! Very nice. Now, with respect to this equatorial orbit, I want to make this basically full-on polar. This is going to be a lot of DV. I'm well aware of this. Okay, we don't actually need quite this much in terms of the radial. Okay, so we do something kind of like this and circularize. Although I still want to make it be a little bit more polar. Something kind of like this. I mean, that's not that much DV. And then we can adjust the actual altitude of it, because I want it to be basically max range. So that's a decent inclination there. So we will go ahead and warp to that maneuver after we have gotten in position for that burn. I don't want to be going retrograde, SAS. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll warp to that maneuver. And we'll just need to change this inclination. This is going to be a 12 second burn, so we want to burn this at T minus 6 seconds. Just go ahead and warp forward to that. I warped slightly past it. That's okay. Okay, we'll just finish off this burn like so. Good enough. Excellent. Next. At the apoapsis, we want to raise the periapsis to be just inside the gravity well of the moon. Like that. 
I want to have this thing be a long period satellite. So that's going to be a prograde burn, and we'll just go ahead and warp to that. This is a two second burn, not very much at all. So we'll just go ahead and warp forward. Okay, in a couple of seconds, the burn will happen. There we go. Just a little more. Good enough. Next, at the apoapsis, we want to circularize. About like that. That'll do. That's going to be another prograde burn. We'll just warp to that. And once again, this is going to be another uh, relatively short burn. And look at this. We've still got 13, 1330 after this DV left. <laughs> it's insanity. This is going to be a long period orbit, and that's exactly what we want. When this thing is over the horizon for this experiment control station, we want it to be over the horizon for a good long time. That's the point of this. Okay, this is a one second burn. There we go. Okay. Can't get much more of a long period orbit over the moon than that. <laughs> That'll do. Fantastic. And with that, it's pretty much time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. When we're probably going to put up one... A synchronous orbit around Eve? Okay, we might do that, <laughs> but maybe not quite yet. Anyway, I will see you all next time.